Hello, welcome to Finding the Voices. Today we have a very special guest joining us all the way from Imphal, Manipur, El Somi Roy, who is the translator of his mother Binodini's work from the original Maitai Lol. Um, he is the founder of Imasi, the Maharaj Kumari Binodini Devi Foundation in Imphal. Uh, he's also a film curator. He has curated for U.S. institutions like the Museum of Modern Art, Film Society of Lincoln Center, the Whitney Museum of American Art and Asia Society. He has written on movies, theaters, photography for art forum, drama review, the British Film Institute and International Documentary Association. He has given talks at National Geographic Society, the Smithsonian, Harvard University, and the Royal Asiatic Society of London. And he has also taught at New York University and Manhattan Marymount College. His translation of Binodini includes Crime Sun Rain Clouds. Uh, this was translated way back in 2012. As you can see, I have it over here. And he has also translated the Maharaja's household, um, a daughter's memory of her father. This was translated way back in 2015. Um, and as you might have seen, he is a promoter of international polo in Manipur. Um, and he works for the preservation of the Manipuri polo. So uh, really, really excited to be having him in our show today. Uh, wherein we'll be talking a little bit about him and uh, mainly today we'll be focusing on the latest translation of Bor Saheb Ongbi Sanatombi. This is the original uh, book in Manipuri in Maitai Lol and it has recently been translated um, as the princess and the political agent. And you can uh, look at that book. It's available in Amazon. Uh, firstly, Tamo Bukrumjari, it is my greatest honor that we are here together uh, today to be talking about your mom, uh, whom I greatly, greatly admire, admire. And for many of our listeners, too, it's a great gift of literature, you know, to the people of Manipur, not only to the people of Manipur, but to the people of the world, uh, you know, giving a glimpse about Manipur and uh, putting a map of Manipur in the world. Thank you. And I would also return the Kurumjari, but my hands are tied. <laughs> I'm balancing my laptop on my knee. So I, I can't free up both my hands at the same time. But such a great uh, honor to be back on your program. Um, I've enjoyed it tremendously in the past. And therefore, I look forward to uh, doing something on this different subject altogether since we've done polo before. And now we, yeah. can, work on, we can talk about literature. Right. And look and at this. I was, I was looking at my collection and see I have all the books except the new one. Ah, that was my <laughs> the previous translation that I did called the Maharaja's Household, A Daughter's Memories of a Father, which yeah. is uh, a translation of Tirachan Maharaj Ki Imung, which was the last book that M.K. Binodini, my mother, wrote. And it is a book of memoir essays of life and growing up in the palace. Right, right. And I read this. I was looking at my notes. Generally, I have some notes when I write it. And I read this way back. Um, Maybe, I don't know, 2000, it was translated in 2015. That's right. Right. And I remember getting it like, you know, almost immediately and look at, look at my handwriting, my old handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> I remember really like, you know, some of the uh, stories or topic which spoke about, you know, women who bore sons were given like, you know, more higher treatment and things like that. So it really kind of portrayed our society of those times. But even now, you know, it hasn't changed that much, though there has been a little bit of 
uh, modern progress. Um, yeah, and then also it uh, addressed about uh, multiple wives, you know, and how many wives are allowed. So I found that like very interesting, but I know today we are going to be focusing on uh, the latest book, but I wanted to, you know, share with all our viewers of all the other books and look at this. this that was Crimson Rain Clouds. <laughs> yeah. By, um, FEMA books. And it is a translation of a play called Asang Banong Jadi. And um, this act book was actually a, a little bit of an experiment because it was the first book that I was doing um, that included the translation as well as the original. And the original was in both Bangla script and in Malti Nayak. Yeah. So it was, um, it was kind of approached as somewhat of a learning uh, tool as well for people who are not familiar with one language or the other, so they could go back and forth and yeah. uh, read and kind of compare and make their own uh, uh, enjoyment and appreciation and even criticism um, to enable that. So there was also the, I also have a transliteration of that in Roman alphabet, which I still have not published, but I will. Some yeah, soon. yeah, I should, I should have put the order. Yeah, you're right. This was the first one, um, you know, translated in 2012. 2012. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, as Tamo had said, you know, um, you know, all the three uh, scripts are there in English, in Bangla and in Maitai Mayek. That's right. And in Maitai Mayek. So, yeah. But these are the, so I want three, to... these are the three yeah, books, go ahead. standalone books that I've translated of the Nobunese work. I'm not really a translator of Manipuri literature as much as a translator of Vinodini. And right. I have been translating Vinodini since my college days. And my mother always used to make me translate. And I've always felt, oh, why do I have to do this? Uh, uh, being a kid at the time, but she liked my translations. And so she always made me do her translations of her short stories that were published also before in Sahitya Academy publications in the 1970s, before I left Manipur to come to the United States. So, and of course, um, screenplays for subtitling. So, so I did a lot of translations for her, uh, of her work, uh, before I went to the US. And so these are the ones that I did after I started coming back um, on extended visits to Manipur in the 21st century, in the 2000s. So, um, so it's been a kind of a long journey, but the translation process has changed somewhat for me um, in the intervening years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was a good call out that, you know, you are a translator only, specifically only for Dinodini's work, as you put it. So, um, I just want to share this picture as we are starting. This is a self-portrait. Um, and I really did not know that, you know, like Imasi had painted herself. Well, actually, it's not a self-portrait. It's a portrait of Vinodini um, uh, by her brother, um, uh, Maharaj Kumar Priyabratta Singh, who was the chief minister of Manipur and the builder of Manipur in the, in the uh, second half of the uh, 20th century. So, oh, okay. My mother was a was also a painter, but she said, "Well, I'm not such a painter as much as I am a sculptor." She preferred to be a sculptor rather than a painter. She said, "My sculptor is yeah. uh, sculpted better than my painter." She used to say. Oh, so I misunderstood because I was like, wow, I didn't know that because I've seen some of the sculpture, you know, even when I visited your house. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for that correct. 